Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be doing a works in progress video. So excited to share with you guys. We're at the end of April and I thought we should kind of review. So it, we're about a third of the way through the year, which is crazy to think about, but I wanted to think of what I have completed and where I wanna go from here, okay? So what I have completed this year has been finished piecing the Ruby Sampler quilt and I have also completed the barn star quilt and i have got it completely quilted i still need to put the binding on i was considering doing a flange binding so that's part of why i haven't done that is i've just been trying to decide if i want to do a flange binding binding which would have the little strip on top of a bigger strip um with the leftover fabric basically from the quilt so i wanted to kind of use up those scraps and remaining fat quarters that I had, but I haven't decided if I'm really gonna stick with that or not. So the other thing that I com completed was the armadillo quilt. I'm very excited to have finished that, my first Elizabeth Hartman quilt. And so those are the quilts that I have completed. Now, the in progress stuff that I've got going on, so I have got the Ruby Sampler quilt is actually on the quilting frame and I'm ready to jump in and get started on quilting it. So I am excited to start that and share. Because it's a sampler quilt, that means I get to do lots of fun quilting patterns. Um, there aren't really a ton of repeating blocks in this, so I think every quilt block is gonna be different, um, maybe with a cohesive background. I'm still kind of planning the quilt out as we go. And so I'm excited to share that one with you guys. The next thing is going to, oh, the next thing that I have in progress is my kite in a square block. So this is the one block that I have completed. I've been cutting out a bunch of these little background fabrics here, and then I've got to start cutting out my kites. Um, and I'm using the block lock roller um, to do it. I think I've decided to do this in a color gradient with this really fun fabric here. So doing kind of a gradient across it. I uh, haven't completely decided on how that gradient's gonna go, but I'm gonna work on that. And once I have all of my kites done, I think I'll be able to piece it better. I'm not going to sew them all together like this. I'll probably just do each individual kite and kind of lay it out that way so that I know what I need to do from there. Um, what else do I have? Oh, the other fun thing that I have in progress, well, not in progress, in the plans to complete is another Elizabeth Hartman quilt. And it is the Lisa the Unicorn Elizabeth Hartman quilt. I'm gonna do this small quilt. I have purchased some Kona Sheen strips. They're really fun and um, very shiny metallic look to it. So I purchased this quilt pattern because my niece really wanted me to make well, I asked her if she wanted me to make her a quilt and she said yes and this was the quilt pattern that she picked out so typical little girl thing I have got this to make oh I want to show you the background fabric so this is the background fabric that I have decided it's a batik it is called hmm, windmill ocean mist yardage so I really liked it I thought it was kind of fun and pretty and this sort of color gradient would kind of match the multicolored, you know, rainbow background of the mains, but we'll see how that goes. Cause I also thought about doing a minky fabric just because most kids like a little soft, well, who doesn't like a soft fabric on the back of their quilt? But right now I'm just gonna stick with that for, for the moment and see, I've got to actually piece the quilt. Let's see, what else? Oh, another Elizabeth Hartman in the plan is starting in June or July, I believe. I'm going to be doing a block of the month. The fruit slices quilt pattern that she has come out with recently. And I will link down below who I purchased my block of the month. I haven't checked that website in a while, so I'm not sure if they are actually still selling that or if they've sold out on it. But I know you can also just purchase the the pattern and the fabric yourself. So if you want to quilt along with me, then I look forward to doing that with you as well. And I think those are the big things that I have in the works. Now, I certainly have a lot of quilts that I need to get on the loom and get done. So definitely in the progress, this is one of those quilts. Um, I don't remember what, even remember what the name of this fabric is. I pieced this probably over back in 2017 or 2018. I started piecing this quilt 
and um, lots of half square triangles going on back here. So it's a really fun quilt. A lot of color gradient happening with it as well. Not quite a coordinated color gradient, kind of just a scrappy color color gradient. Wow, said that a lot. And so I do want to get this on the loom and get this quilted. It's a pretty large quilt as well. And then another quilt that I have that I would like to get on there as well is this one. So it's basically a repeating pattern of this block right here over and over again with some sashing and then in the center I have a little four patch block so I bought this fabric I think it came from connecting threads and was called like chateau or something um, and completed this quilt in the last couple of years as well and so I just want to get this on there I think this one would be fun to do in sort of a repeating pattern um, but once I get there, I'll design it. So that's another quilt that I have in need to do. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit of a short one, but I think just having, giving you an update and also reviewing where I'm at with my quilts and what my plans are is always nice. I think it's good to have that sort of where am I going throughout the year. So I'll probably do another one of these videos, especially if you guys like it, um, in another third of the year. We'll do it again. But otherwise, until then, I hope you guys are having fun quilting. Um, comment down below on quilts that you guys are working on or what you've got in the plans. If you've got some block of the month programs or uh, groups that you're part of as well. And we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.